Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, inherits Iron Man's glasses, which connect the wearer to Edith, a powerful AI with access to the most advanced technology and weaponry in the world. During a school trip, four creatures begin attacking different cities of the world and causing havoc. Then, out of the blue, a man called Quentin Beck shows up and claims to come from an alternate universe where the creatures destroyed his world and killed his family. Beck assures everyone that he is here to help defeat them. Beck, however, is the source of the elementals, who are just holograms. His plan was to trick Peter Parker into trusting him so that he could get access to Edith, which he succeeded at. In this scene, we find Spider-Man trying to stop Beck and save his classmates. This scene is the culmination of a Europe-wide chase, mystery, and a contrived deception web. We finally get to see which side wins, the Spider-Man's rewards, and more. Es tu turno, Ponsada. Es tu turno, Peter. Es tu turno, Peter. Turno. Notice the RN pronunciation and how they go together. Turno, turno, no, rr, no. This will be one of those things that I would love hearing as a kid when I was playing with my friends. Es tu turno, Ponsada. ¿Por qué no disparan los drones? ¿Por qué no disparan los drones? ¿Por qué no disparan los drones? ¿Por qué? Why? Even though this word has a tilde, its variation without one does not sound any different. The tilde is there to tell you that it is a question. And if the word was all together and without a tilde, like por qué, it would mean because. ¿Por qué no disparan los drones? By the way, I recommend that you take a look at the PDF that I have linked in the description below. It has all of the words that I cover and it should really help you solidify all of this information. Estás en la zona de ataque. Las probabilidades... No. Estás en la zona de ataque. Las probabilidades... Estás en la zona de ataque. Las probabilidades... Estás. Estás. Put the emphasis on the A. Estás. These inflections are very important. Since were you to put, for example, the inflection on the E, it will mean something else. If you say estás, you will be saying this. If you say estás, you're saying you are. Zona. The pronunciation of the letter Z in Spanish will vary per country, but as a rule of thumb, in Spain, it will make a th sound, so the word itself will be zona, whereas in Latin America, it will be an S sound, so it will be zona. No, dispara todos los drones ahora. No, dispara todos los drones ahora. Ahora. A mute H sound, much like most H's in Spanish. This word sounds like ahora, not ahora or ahora, but ahora. My advice to you is, if you're trying to get a cleaner Spanish pronunciation, pronounce the O like O rather than O. It is shorter and drier. But I'll tell you more about Spanish vowels in a minute. No, dispara todos los drones ahora! Me mentiste. Confía en ti. Me mentiste. Confía en ti. Me mentiste. Confía en ti. Me mentiste. The two mes almost merge together when speaking, right? Me mentiste. Don't be afraid if you don't quite get it at first. When a Spanish speaker is speaking naturally and fluently, it is very fast, and a lot of the times these consonants and these sounds just merge together. Confía. The tilde at the end tells you where to put the emphasis. On the E. Confie. No, confie or confie, which will mean something else. It will be an order telling somebody to trust. Confie means I trusted. Me mentiste. Confie en ti. Lo sé. Eso es lo que me decepcionó más. Lo sé. Eso es lo que me decepcionó más. Lo sé. Eso es lo que me decepcionó más. Me decepcionó means it disappointed me. It's a strong sentiment. It's in the past tense, by the way. Obviously, you know, this is being said with a little bit of sarcasm. He's not a very genuine man, this one. And notice how the tilde at the end tells you that it is in the past tense. Lo sé. Eso es lo que me decepcionó más. 
Eres buena persona, Peter. Esa es tu debilidad. Stark tenía razón. Si te las mereces. Eres buena persona, Peter. Esa es tu debilidad. Stark tenía razón. Si te las mereces. Eres buena persona, Peter. Esa es tu debilidad. Stark tenía razón. Si te las mereces. Ese es tú. That is your. When speaking fluently, this sounds like ese es tú. Because the vowel sounds of the A and the E, the A and the E, merge together. If you're not quite getting what a Spanish speaker is saying, imagine that they just got rid of the vowels and try to deconstruct their words through context, obviously, but also by trying to piece together the consonants and see what word it seems most likely to be. Eres buena persona, Peter. Esa es tu debilidad. Stark tenía razón. Si te las mereces. Ya no puedes engañarme. Edith, apaga los drones. Ya no puedes engañarme. Edith, apaga los drones. Ya no puedes engañarme. Edith, apaga los drones. That's quite the statement, right? Engañar is a very negative word, much like tricking somebody in English. So, use it with caution. Now, the ñ. The ñ sounds just like a ñ. Or a, you know, depending on what vowel it's called afterwards. ñ, ñ, ñi, ño, ñu. It's a bit of a funny sound, I'll admit. But it must always precede a vowel. Ya no puedes engañarme. Edith, apaga los drones. Escaneo biométrico completo. Bienvenido de vuelta. Escaneo biométrico completo. Bienvenido de vuelta. Escaneo biométrico completo. Bienvenido de vuelta. Escaneo. While this cogne is very similar to the English equivalent, scan, remember to pronounce the E at the start. It is not silent. You won't say scaneo, you will say escaneo. Bienvenido. While, you know, technically you pronounce the B and the V differently, Spanish is so fast and people speak so quickly that nobody is likely to notice. Or even follow the rule themselves, really. If you just pronounce bienvenido, making the V sound with the both of them, that's okay. You can, of course, say bienvenido, but I'm just letting you know that nobody's gonna be bothered if you just say bienvenido. Vuelta. This isn't the case, though. This particular word doesn't have the same rule applied to it as the previous one. Vuelta sounds like vuelta. The V is, you know, V corta, as we call it in Spanish, or V, as they call it in Spain. That is because it is the first letter, so it's important to pronounce it correctly. Escaneo biométrico completo. Bienvenido de vuelta. Ejecuto todos los protocolos de cancelación. Ejecuto todos los protocolos de cancelación. Ejecuto todos los protocolos de cancelación. Ejecuto. The J in Spanish, J, sounds similar to the H in English, but a little bit harsher, so not too much, not too harsh. Try and mimic a cat's hiss, for example. It's like a It's not overtly harsh, like It's not too soft. It's not It's not ejecuto or ejecuto. It's Ejecuto. Try and practice it. It'll take a bit to get it right, but you will. Don't worry. Cancelación. Cancelación. The emphasis is on the final O. The tilde is telling you that. Cancelación. But in Spain, this will be said as cancelación. Because in Spain, when a C follows an I or an E, it sounds the same as the Z. Whereas in Latin America, this will just be cancelación. Ejecuto todos los sí. protocolos de cancelación. Hazlo. Ejecútalos todos. Sí. Hazlo. Ejecútalos todos. Sí. Hazlo. Ejecútalos todos. Hazlo is the order or imperative form of do it. So he's saying yes, do it. Execute them all. This is a very useful word which I can clearly remember being used plenty by my mother as a kid. Now the H in hazlo is mute. 
it's almost as if it weren't there. It's very important that you know it is there because it's quite poor form to grammatically misspell something in Spanish. But when spoken out loud, you can act as if it didn't exist. Confirmado. 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 Dame la lanza. Dame la lanza. Dame la lanza. Dame. Dame. Spanish vowels are very dry and short in the sense that they only make one sound and it's the sound that they're supposed to. That is great because if you know what they sound like, you can read a word and know exactly how it's said out loud. Unlike some languages with words like through, thought and though. Dame la lanza. Esa la barda. Es a la barda. Es a la barda. To be honest with you, I just wanted to mention this one. It's not that common of a word, but I thought it was so funny that he knows what the difference between a spear and a halberd is. I will say though, if you bring this up in a conversation with somebody that knows that you're a non-native Spanish speaker, my bet is that they'll probably be a little bit impressed by you. Es a la barda. <clears throat> Now, you see how a lot of these words are too complicated to just explain in a short video. However, there is a fantastic tool that I recommend to you for this specific way of learning. That is FluentU. FluentU is an app that gives you not only speeches, movie scenes, songs and more to learn from, but every single one of them was broken down by professional language experts. You get multiple video examples with every single word and then you also get quizzed tested and have repetition on all of them. I mean, it really is one of the best ways to learn colloquial Spanish and make it stick without boring yourself to death with memorization. But I'll let you judge for yourself with a free two-week trial with the link in the description below. Gracias. 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 ¿Cómo pudiste hacer esto? ¿Cómo pudiste hacer esto? ¿Cómo pudiste hacer esto? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo will always sound the same? There is no como. The tilde here is just there to let you know that in this instance it is being used as a question. If it didn't have a tilde, it will be used as a statement. Hacer. The H is absolutely silent here, so pretend it's written as hacer, but the same rule as hazlo earlier, remember that it's there when you write it down. ¿Cómo pudiste hacer esto? Escucha, Peter. Las personas necesitan creer. Hoy en día se creen lo que sea. Escucha, Peter. Las personas necesitan creer. Hoy en día se cree lo que sea. Escucha, Peter. Las personas necesitan creer. Hoy en día se cree lo que sea. Creer is the verb to believe. People need to believe in something. It's obviously going into a bit of a speech here, though it doesn't last very long. Please do not make the mistake of pronouncing the double E as you will in English. In Spanish, when you see a double E, it just means that you say the vowel twice, with a small break in between. Creer. Creer. It's almost like we go down a little bit and then we go back up. Creer. Escucha. The CH in Spanish sounds like ch, ch, ch. Like cha, che, chi, cho, chu. Cha. Like a sort of T S E H kind of thing. But just remember the noise that it makes. Ch. Unless it's, of course, a person's name with a specific pronunciation, like, say, somebody with Italian ascendance. Escucha, Peter. Las personas necesitan creer. Hoy en día se creen lo que sea. Esta... Esto es real? Esto... Esto es real? Esto, esto es real. Esta, esto es real. Todas las ilusiones fueron desactivadas. Todas las ilusiones fueron desactivadas. Todas las ilusiones fueron desactivadas. Desactivadas. This means deactivated. 
which is quite similar, right? However, there is an extra S that I don't want you to forget. You're always going to see an S after the prefix the, which is like the in Spanish. So make sure you pronounce it too. It's not de activadas, it's desactivadas. Todas las ilusiones fueron desactivadas. ¡Woo! ¡Sí! ¿A dónde vas? ¡Woo! ¡Sí! ¿A dónde vas? ¿A dónde vas? ¿A dónde es un mix de a, to, and dónde? Where. So it means where to. Though, if you put it in a translation software, it's just going to say that it means where. That's not too hard to remember, right? But it is so useful. So keep on watching. There's more useful stuff like that coming. ¿A dónde vas? Hola. 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 ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás bien? ¿Tú estás bien? Sí. Sí. Estoy bien. ¿Tú estás bien? Estoy bien. ¿Tú estás bien? Sí, sí. Estoy. The Y or Y at the very end of the sound, sounds the exact same as it would if it was an I or E Latina. ¿Estás bien? ¿Tú estás bien? Sí. Sí. ¿Y los demás están bien? Sí. ¿Y los demás están bien? ¿Y los demás están bien? Notice how I put the emphasis right where the tilde is. Demás. That is why it's there. Los demás basically means the rest or the others. And he's just asking if his friends are okay. ¿Y los demás están bien? Sí, todos están bien. Sí, todos están bien. Sí, todos están bien. Sí, todos están bien. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Pasó. Emphasis on the O at the end, telling us that this is in the past tense, meaning what happened. ¿Qué pasó? Es que lo, lo, los drones nos estaban siguiendo y luego se, se, se detuvieron. Es que los drones nos estaban siguiendo y luego se detuvieron. Es que los drones nos estaban siguiendo y luego se detuvieron. The nos and estaban merge together a little bit. So be prepared for people to just say something like no estaban when speaking fluently. Luego, pronounce each vowel separately. They don't merge. Lu, e, go. Luego. It's not Lugo, it's not Lego, it's Luego. Es que lo, lo, los drones nos estaban siguiendo y luego se, se, se detuvieron. ¿Fuiste tú? ¿Fuiste tú? ¿Fuiste tú? ¿Fuiste? These vowels also don't merge. It is important to pronounce them separately and each and every one of them. Unlike how you'll sometimes hear people merge the, for example, A and E sounds. So this is Fuiste. Fuiste. ¿Fuiste tú? Sí. ¿Le ganaste? Sí. ¿Le ganaste? ¿Le ganaste? Sí. Le ganaste means something like you beat him, but it's more like did you win against him. It's basically the difference between defeating somebody and winning against them. Nuances, right? ¿Le ganaste? Sí. Bueno, yo traje eso por si lo necesitabas. Bueno, yo traje eso por si lo necesitabas. Bueno, yo traje eso por si lo necesitabas. Yo. The Y sound will highly depend on the region. You'll get yo, 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 and more. So, if you want to play it safe, pronounce it as yo. Traje. Now the J here sounds exactly like it sounded earlier. It's like a cat's hissing sound. It sounds like traje, traje. Give it a try. Traje. Bueno, yo traje eso por si lo necesitabas. En fin, uh, había un... Un señor sudoroso con nosotros en la torre. En fin, había un señor sudoroso con nosotros en la torre. En fin, había un señor sudoroso con nosotros en la torre. Sudoroso paints a strange picture. She's saying that there was a sweaty man. 
Sudoroso coming from the word sudor, which means perspiration or sweat. Maybe keep this one in the vault for now. Torre. The double R has a few different pronunciations, depending on the country and even the region, really. To play it safe, however, just roll a longer R than usual. Instead of torre, it will be torre, 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 torre. En fin, uh, había un, un señor sudoroso con nosotros en la torre que creo que trabaja para ti o algo así. Y él me dio esto. Creo que trabaja para ti o algo así. Y él me dio esto. Creo que trabaja para ti o algo así. Y él me dio esto. Creo que trabaja para ti o algo así. Y él me dio esto. No. Ay, MJ, perdón, tenía un plan, un estúpido plan. No, ay, MJ, perdón, tenía un plan, un estúpido plan. No, ay, MJ, perdón, tenía un plan, un estúpido plan. Perdón, put the emphasis on the O, because that's where the tilde is. Perdón, no, perdón, perdón, estúpido. Again, emphasis on the U because that's where the tilde is. And notice how the U is not pronounced like estúpido. It's like a double O. Estúpido. No. Ay, MJ, perdón. Tenía un plan, un estúpido plan. Ok, Peter. Hasta lo anoté. Te iba a comprar esto y en París, en la cima de... Hasta lo anoté. Te iba a comprar esto en París, en la cima de... Hasta lo anoté. Te iba a comprar esto en París, en la cima de... Paris. Unlike English, where you say Paris, in Spanish you pronounce it Paris, with the S at the end, no Paris, Paris. Cima. The C sound here sounds like an S, because it's before an I. Could also be an E. In Spain, this will be pronounced as Cima. That was the romantic climax of the movie. I'm sure that it would be a lot sweeter if we had watched the whole thing, but you know, this was still pretty good. Hasta lo noté, te iba a comprar esto y en París, en la cima de... Me besaste, pero... Sí. Me besaste, pero... Me besaste, pero... Sí. Me besaste, pero... Sí. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? No tengo mucha suerte cuando se trata de encariñarme con las personas. No tengo mucha suerte cuando se trata de encariñarme con las personas. No tengo mucha suerte cuando se trata de encariñarme con las personas. Mucha. Pronounced like mucha. The CH makes that ch sound that we spoke about earlier. Encariñarse. This is a word that doesn't quite translate, but it is very common, so pay attention. Encariñarse roughly translates to becoming attached to somebody. So it's not quite like attaching, but like the act itself of becoming attached to someone. It comes from the word cariño, which is a type of more cozy, less romantic love, though still applicable to romantic partners. A cariño is an act of affection, like a hug or a petting. No tengo mucha suerte cuando se trata de encariñarme con las personas. Uh... Por eso mentí. No solo te observaba porque creía que eras Spider-Man. Por eso mentí. No solo te observaba porque creía que eras Spider-Man. Por eso mentí. No solo te observaba porque creía que eras Spider-Man. Observaba. Similar situation here to earlier where you might have a V and a V sound, but in practice people will just pronounce everything as V. So, observaba. Don't stress yourself too much with these kind of things. Uh, por eso mentí. No solo te observaba porque creía que eras Spider-Man. <laughs> Qué gusto. Qué gusto. Qué gusto. You can say que gusto when you meet somebody for the first time, when somebody says something nice, or even when the food's really, really tasty. Very versatile. Make sure you use it after eating a meal that somebody prepared for you. It'll be a nice thing to hear. <laughs> que gusto. Turno.
Nocturno. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Estás. Estás. Zona. Zona. Ahora. Ahora. Me mentiste. Me mentiste. Confié. Confié. Ese es tu... Esa es tu... Ya no puedes engañarme. Ya no puedes engañarme. Escaneo. Escaneo. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. Vuelta. Vuelta. Ejecuto. Ejecuto. Cancelación. Cancelación. Sí, hazlo. Sí, hazlo. Dame. Dame. A la barda. A la barda. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Hacer. Hacer. Escucha. Escucha. Creer. Creer. Desactivadas. Desactivadas. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde? Estoy. Estoy. De más. De más. Pasó. Pasó. Nos estaban siguiendo. Nos estaban siguiendo. Luego. Luego. Fuiste. Fuiste. Yo traje. Yo traje. Sudoroso. Sudoroso. Torre. Torre. Perdón. Perdón. Estúpido. Estúpido. París. París. Cima. Cima. Mucha. Mucha. Encariñarme. Encariñarme. Observaba. Observaba. Qué gusto. Qué gusto. No, let's watch a video without the subtitles and see how much you learned. Es tu turno, punzada. ¿Por qué no disparan los drones? Estás en la zona de ataque. Las probabilidades... ¡No! De ¡Dispara! Ser... ¡Todos los drones! ¡Ahora! Persona, Peter. Esa es tu debilidad. Stark tenía razón. Si te las mereces. Ya no puedes engañarme. los drones. Escaneo biométrico completo. Bienvenido de vuelta. Ejecuto todos los sí. protocolos de cancelación. Hazlo. Ejecútalos todos. Confirmado. Dame la lanza. Esa la barda.
Gracias. ¿Cómo pudiste hacer esto? Escucha, Peter. Las personas necesitan creer. Hoy en día se cree en lo que sea. Esta... ¿Esto es real? Todas las ilusiones fueron desactivadas. ¡Uh! ¡Sí! ¿A dónde vas? ¿Estás bien? ¿Tú estás bien? Sí. Sí. ¿Y los demás están bien? Sí, todos están bien. ¿Qué pasó? Es que lo, lo, los drones nos estaban siguiendo y luego se, se, se detuvieron. ¿Fuiste tú? Sí. ¿Le ganaste? Sí. Bueno, yo... traje eso... por si lo necesitabas. Gracias. En fin, eh, había un, un señor sudoroso con nosotros en la torre. Creo que trabaja para ti o algo así. Y él me dio esto. Oh, ¡No! Ay, MJ, perdón. Tenía un plan, un estúpido plan. Ok, Peter. Hasta lo noté. Te iba a comprar esto y en París, en la cima de... Me besaste, pero... Sí. ¿Por qué? No tengo mucha suerte cuando se trata de encariñarme con las personas. Uh, por eso mentí. No solo te observaba porque creía que eras... Spider-Man. <laughs> Qué gusto. If you like this way of teaching, go watch this video over here. It breaks down a hilarious scene involving Ross from Friends and his sandwich. See you there.